seen the last live stream. I don't know, it dropped out, so I'll give it another shot. If it doesn't work out this time. Yeah, folks, sorry, uh, I don't know what happened. Somehow I dropped out of the live stream. I have no clue why. Probably, yeah, again here. Okay, it's still broadcasting. The system is still in the beta phase. I did a lot of testing in the past months, uh, well, months, weeks, just to get the system running. And I guess before, um, I have shortcuts here, and I, w I just... Uh, accidentally hit the shortcut to switch of the live stream which is obviously not so good <laughs> so <laughs> yeah so today's topic is going to be um, sound settings any kind of sound setting um, with lead guitar and to give you give you an uh, an impression how uh, how this whole thing can work first um, let's see Hopefully, I don't switch. <laughs> now I know what happened. <laughs> oh man, this is so stupid. Um, <laughs> okay, now this is the first live stream, and this won't happen again. The point is, um, what happened in the two live streams before, I didn't think about this. The shortcut, um, how to switch the live stream off, is zero. And when I switch, when I switch to the audio software, uh, I ex ex um, to go back to zero, it's also the zero. So, um, yeah, that's the problem which happened. <laughs> so, I hope this won't happen again. So, okay, now let's try to get things done here now. Um, so sound settings on any kind of lead sounds. <coughs> We're gonna talk about delays, amp settings, and stuff like this. But to first give an expression or an impression, uh, what you wanna do. <coughs> I'm gonna give an example. I hope, and I will. This time, I will not hit the zero knob. <laughs> Oh, that's that was too stupid. I need to do another shortcut afterwards. Otherwise, um, yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, now um, let's see what's going on. I didn't switch. Well, it's not switching now. It's not switching now. Now it's switching. Okay, now um, let's do this um, symphonic rock thing. And here I'm going to show you the difference. got to hear it now there's a lot of delay on it so um, the delay when you hear it like this I think oh wow that's a lot of delay now I'm going to show the same thing again without playing the delay and uh, without having the delay in it So, what well the difference is, now I can switch back to the normal thing here. Somehow the shortcuts don't work anymore. I'm so sorry. I did have so much testing and I failed because the one shortcut to switch the broadcast <laughs> off 
and to uh, change scene is the same thing yeah but i hope it's still going to be cool um yeah so um you heard the difference now between playing lead sound with delay or without delay and um Now is the question how we do configure the delay. Also on blues or any kind of sound, it doesn't really make a big difference. <coughs> I'm going to show you like how it's played as it shows that in blues. You can do this. Uh, here's something for blues. Oh no, that was a uh, smooth jazz. Here's blues. Switch. This this time is a little bit too much. That's com complete without delay. Yeah. So um, this is um, what um, what the problem is, or, or what the, what the f what what's really going on, or uh, how delay shall um how delay really works or in the sound setting now how you configure a delay what what types of delay do you have and what happens when you do that stuff like this before we do get into details now i'm going to see if there are any comments <laughs> here <laughs> oh man it's see the chat is if you have any questions this is the chat so no comments are here but uh, you can place them here. Yeah, so now let's see what de how delay works. And I'm going to switch now to the, uh, to the software of my AXFX uh, Fractal Order device, which is a pretty sophisticated device, but I'm only going to talk about the basic the basics, uh, settings which can be used that you understand how to work with delay that this really turns out and how it can be cool so let's switch to um, to this and here we are okay now we switch delay on That's it. and um, Okay, now it's on. Now, here you see it's a ping pong delay. I mean, of course, yeah, on your device, which you have, it probably is something else. Uh, or is displayed different, but the types of delay are all the same. So, first we go through the different types of delay. So, I don't know what this is. I think this comes from the... Um, <laughs> from the... Uh, even type device ambient stereo as an example see there's a slight ambient thing but it's a stereo uh, delay and analog mono um, if you work with mono or <laughs> stereo delay only makes sense if you work with the stereo setting if you only if you only have an amp with a send return thing then you probably don't uh, you don't work with the stereo delay because it makes no sense because send return is always mono exception if the send return is stereo then you have two sends two returns so probably you go with for mono if you have sounds if you have mono setting and for stereo if you have stereo setting and the stereo I mean, if as if the stereo, if you work with stereo, there's not such big difference because then it's just on both sides, stereo, yeah. And um, yeah, let me see what we have more. Whoa, what's that? I don't know all of them. <laughs> yeah, 
digital mono, probably um, go f uh, I work now with digital stereo. <laughs> Um, but of course, you can if you have a mono device, no problem. You switch to mono. Now, we have different things which we can configure. Um, here, this the it's set on the beat on the quarter beat, as you can hear see here. That means if you have a tap delay function, the tap delay function. There you put in the tempo, and then the tempo goes of the which the which you tap in goes along with the quarter note. If as, a, as an example you go for a, let's say half note, it's it's half as fast as before. See, or you go for the eight note, it's, it's half as fast as before. Uh, it's double fast. See. You also can make dotted. I mean, the I'm not really a fan of this stuff. I always always go on on quarter notes because if you want to have half note delays, then if you tap in the tempo, you just you just go you just tap in in half time every second beat, and then you have the half time as well. So um, that's not really needed. So I always go for the quarter. <laughs> Yeah, the next setting is the feedback. Here it's because in stereo it's in double. If uh, if I go up, see it moves the same way. That says the many times it gets repeated. See, if I go higher, there's a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the normal thing which I do is probably 20% uh, on this device. Now here comes a thing. I these are four repeats. If you work in a rock setting, then I would suggest you go for seven repeats. That will be in this case, I guess, 50%. Three, four, five, six. Now, probably now you think this is too much delay. But again, if you go back to the symphonic rock thing. Then you don't hear it anymore because it's completely dropped uh, in the sound. And you, but the point which you hear is um, is the that your sound doesn't have so much reverb. And most of you guys think if you add more reverb, then um, yeah, then you have more a reverby sound. But th but that doesn't make that doesn't make it. The delay makes the reverb effect. And it has to be configured the way I show now. Yeah. Good. So um, we go back to. Well, let's switch the program. I go to the next sound here. This is now my real high gain. See, this is my high gain lead sound. And the delay here is on ping pong. Ping pong is a very cool effect but only works in the stereo setting because ping pong it goes from left to right and like see wait and that gives even more reverby sound so let's listen now ping pong delay in this setting Zero knob again. I 
I'm afraid I no, I'm, I was lucky this time. <laughs> Holy crap. These are <laughs> this shortcut thing is a, an automatism in which I normally it, uh, it just works because I work so much in the studio it just happened that I hit zero. So um <laughs> now was uh, okay, this is another problem. Uh so uh this is a uh, that's why it happened phone. And um, let me see if there are any comments already here. <laughs> okay, so Jackie, <laughs> my, my guitar so tone sucks. Please talk about I get your tone. And somebody else is saying hello. Okay, Jackie, let's check it out now. Um we go back to the um here. Um, as I already was talking about, the guitar sound is a lot with the delay. Now, but the distortion sound is also pretty important. So let's check out the distortion. In this case, I use amp distortion. I have uh, a lot of amps here, as you can see. <laughs> uh, oops, uh, wait, uh, I went here. Okay. Um I just chose chosen here a Soldano lead amp. Um if you have more uh, cheaper devices you can um you can uh you have different settings like brown is a often used setting, British often use and uh, US. Those are these three. Soldano is a US amp type, <coughs> brown would be a also US type, but more softer, a little bit cr more creamy sound, and British would be um, Marshall amp. In this case, Soldano is US amp. <coughs> now let's see how this is set. Now the distortion sound itself, when I switch off all effects, this is the total dry effect. See, no effects at all. Uh, I once had a lesson with a teacher of mine. Uh, let me go back to the total view. Um, the I think the m one of my most important guitars lesson which I had, it was probably the last one I had during my education, is uh, I was at a teaching set play without any effects with the most crappy sound you have. So here we have no effect. <laughs> First of all, um, it's important that you understand that the distorted sound sounds terrible. See? It's just boo. That's it. So, you need to make the tone first alive with the vibrator. Switch of all effects, only amp and cabinet, or if you have an amp, switch of the, the reverb, everything is gone. And just try to make music like this. See? Uh, there I have a tutorial somewhere about vibrators and uh, bending and stuff like that. So maybe check that, check that one out. Now, once you have this done, what also makes sense if you um, let's go back to the here. Um, this is the distortion level. This is now a maximum. It's easier. There's less sustain now on it if you have lower. Uh, drive settings but same same thing again the tone sounds like bleh. see make it alive yeah now I'm gonna switch back to maximum gain good now um EQ settings. Uh, there are a lot of sophisticated EQ settings. I al always use 
just the default uh, EQ settings here, bass, mid, treble. And basically I put the middle a little bit down because if you have the middles a little bit up, like now, it gives this a little bit noisy thing. I'm going to exaggerate now a little bit. I don't really like that. So I go back here. Yeah, and I have the bright switch here on if I put it off. Not every amp has a bright switch. See now the this bright thing is a little bit gone. Uh, but a lot of amps have this presence thing here. This is presence. See here? Presence. So when you put it up, it's like a bright switch. <laughs> it comes more in the foreground. Now is the trick. Um, when we go back to presence, um, if you play, uh, let's say, in a setting where music has to be more backgroundish and your solos should not dis disturb people when they're eating, then you probably put your sound back, so presence low or more bassy sound. If you're playing a concert and you want to say, yeah, I'm here, then you put a presence more up. So you <laughs> play. It's like, now I'm on stage and here we go. See, that's what I'm saying. So these things have to be first considered and worked out. Yeah. Now let's see if there are some additional comments now. Okay, pinch harmonics. Um, <laughs> I'm not finished with the guitar tone, but uh, we're going to continue. Um, in this case, don't uh, pinch harmonics. The more heights you have in the sound, and uh, the, the, the easier pinch harmonics come. As I said, if you put the presence up, If you put the presence up, then then it comes more. If it's let let me show that. Um, go back here. Presence down. It's a little bit harder to get pinch harmonics. Okay, I can I can always do it. If you put it up. Oop. Here we go. They're more present. Yeah, but basically, um, if you want to have good pinch harmonics, then um, you, you should work them out with a clean sound. <laughs> it doesn't come. <laughs> See, you can hear them a little bit. Yeah, so basically pinch harmonics are a technical thing. Yeah. So let me see some more comments. Okay. So no additional comments. <coughs> then we continue our journey for the distortion. Now we were on the distortion now. And... Yeah, these are basically the things which really make the difference. Okay, I just changed the sound. Now we have this one here. One thing, I'm going to switch off the delay now. Okay, you hear this noise now. Um, if you add any kind of noise gate, it will cut off your sound and your sustain. So I always have this noise going on because when you play you don't hear it and um, but you have more sustain while playing <laughs> yeah and um, these are things to consider now um, 
what else to say? Um, I think these were the basic settings which you can do in any... Um, oh yeah, master volume and level. Um, some amps or some, some gains, they have master volume. I'm gonna go back here. Some amps have master volume and some not. If you have an amp or an amp simulation, oh, I need to work this out. I don't know why this the signal got cut off all the time. Um, that's not really cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, one thing um, with uh, where was I? See now this distracted my thoughts. Um, now I forget what what I was talking about. It's really getting my nerves when. <laughs> <laughs> when this with this the camera just switches off but it's connected i don't know why this happens yeah anyhow um yeah master volume there was i master volume if your amp has a master volume then if you want to have more sustain on the gain put up the master volume then the put up the gain level up but also the master volume but if you have a level as well put the level low but the master volume up and not the level high and the master volume down because this creates more sustain and more really fat tone that's really a basic or a very important trick to know yeah um let me see some for more comments there is another comment okay the um, the delay I was expecting this question. <laughs> yeah. Um, most delay devices they have they are set on um, on tap. I have a tap function. So uh, I explained it at the beginning of the video. You put it on quarter note, set it on quarter note, and then when you tap in the tempo of the song, the delay se is set exactly on the beat of the song. If your delay doesn't have that and you just have the milliseconds, then um, you have to um, <laughs> make some math about this, milliseconds. And uh, it's pretty easy. <coughs> one second contains 1,000 milliseconds. If a song has a tempo of 60 beat per minute, means that one second, wait, 60 beat per minute means that we have 60 seconds in there. That means that the beat, one beat, if it re repeats, is 1,000 milliseconds. So if, if you, you, you want to have your quarter beat, your quarter beat on, if we have a 60 BPM, you want to have your quarter beat set, then you have to set the delay on. 1000 milliseconds if the song is 120 beats per minute and double speed then of course you slow it down to 500 milliseconds and all in between you have to uh, take out your calculator and make some math but that's the way how, how you really um, work it out um, before this tab function was so popular everywhere i need to do this myself in my head but um, I'm not doing this anymore, so I uh, forgot all the tempos, but these are the two main tempos, 60 BP BPM or 1000 milliseconds and um, 120 BPM is 500 milliseconds. Now let me see if the shortcuts work again. No. <laughs> okay, I have to do the manual. Other suggestions? Okay. Good. Now we go back to... Um, yeah, the microphone settings is also important. In my case, um, where's this? Yeah. Is this somewhere here? Hmm. Where is the off axis stuff? Yeah, okay, um, now I got it. With the cabinet, um, 
if you have any device which uh, makes simulations of cabinets, that's not really a trick. Uh, you just have to find a cabinet which serves your your needs most. If you have an amp and you want to mic the amp, uh, you often use the off-axis position. What is off-axis? If this is the membrane of your amp and this is the middle, you point your microphone. Uh, let me look for something. <laughs> This is my car key. <laughs> Let's say this is the microphone. This is the microphone. If this is the middle, this will be center setting. Off axis would be like this. See? Center, off axis. Yeah. Um, some d some uh, software, they, they can do this uh, setting on, on off axis or center which is cool. Um, I, of I prefer off-axis because it gives a more smooth sound. Center settings are mostly a little bit aggressive. De <coughs> depends a little bit on the taste which you have. Yeah. Good. Let's go back to the delay or if you have another question. I gotta check it out. Do you have another question? Here's another question. Ich de, de, de Peel. Who is Ich de Peel? I'm fine. <laughs> okay, I always want to know why you prefer the Epi above the Gibson. It's the color. Okay. <laughs> um, the story about Dr. Pink. Uh, it's the color. Uh, I was an uh, instructor at um, Gibbs, uh, no, Gibbs no com, at guitartricks.com many years. Some of you might remember me from there. And at that time, guitartricks.com was the main resource for guitar in the internet, and they made a deal with Gibson. Uh, like a corporation said, uh, our best instructors bec can become um, to uh, teachers on uh, gibson.com, and I was selected. And so Gibson said, you choose uh, any guitar which you like. And unfortunately, they just let us choose uh, Epiphones. So I w had a little bit of a struggle because um, yeah, we all know the difference between uh, Gibson and Epiphone, uh, especially on distorted sounds. But uh, Gibson has a, at that time, I don't know if they still have it because I never was back on the website, had an Elitist series. Elitist series is the same price as a Les Paul Studio or Standard. Same pickups, everything is the same, just so the Epiphone is on the top. And I just like the color. And I used to be a Twisted Sister fan. Um, I don't listen to them anymore now, but I just like the color on the, honestly, on the video, it looks great. And I can tell it now by now, when I play concert, I don't use Dr. Pink because uh, I'm not familiar. I don't really like the, um, the whole setting. I have a, uh, a uh, Godin LGX there are play concerts but for rocks and blue stuff um i really uh, into dr pink and it's really cool but that's a story how it came out with um <laughs> with dr pink <laughs> yeah and uh I we were obligated to use the guitar so i used it like for one two years and um I think after three years I quit my job at guitartricks.com because the system uh, changed and I didn't like it anymore. And um, then I started the YouTube channel. Even the YouTube channel is a little bit older than you can see. And um, then, uh, yeah, I just thought um, I, I need to give Dr. Pink a name. And so it became Dr. Pink. And everybody thought it was funny, me too. And so since many years now, um, this guitar is Dr. Pink. <laughs> but it's from the Elitist series, it's same like a Les Paul, and I really love to play now. But at the beginning, I was like, oh my God, I cannot do anything on this guitar. Yeah. So let's see more comments. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the shortcuts. Um, they didn't... Ah, okay, you're from Holland, cool. 
I've been to um, Monikendam a few years ago. My girlfriend was there. That's just beside Amsterdam. Probably you know Monikendam. I really liked it. Small village beside Amsterdam. Well, the SG has a very sharp sound. Yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> Good. Any more questions? Because I think I'm. What more to say on the? Oh, I was with the delay. And uh, I'm still a little bit unsure if the whole thing worked out. And so sorry that at the beginning I I, s uh, I happened to switch the bro live broadcast off because it was my first broadcast. I was so nervous, and this camera always switches off. I was so oops, I was so nervous um, that everything will work out, and uh, I did this mistake. But I'm glad that now at least for a half an hour we are stable live broadcast. And any suggestions are welcome because I will learn from the experience from today and make it better, of course. But you have to start somewhere to really um, get the thing done. Yeah, um, maybe I want to go back and talk about <coughs> the delay again. Delay settings, or is there any other question? Okay, no. Okay, delay settings again. Yeah, what's more to say? Um, we have the mix level here. The mix level. Uh, every device is different, but I often, on any device, have it around 10 till m maybe 14 percent. And this is—it's a different difference if you play with distorted sounds. <laughs> It's a very fat delay, but if you play in a bluesy conte context, then we put the feedback down. Not so many repeats. Let's go here for still a lot. Mm, still a lot. I'm going to show you now with the blues setting. Okay. Okay, and now I'm going to switch to a to the blues here. <laughs> See, now the delay is a little bit behind. We, if we could put it higher. Probably it's too much. Or the feedback up. still cool <laughs> the point is if you play um, with delay if you play with uh, a lot of delay you have to be very precise if you have a very I'm gonna do tutorials in the near future where uh, you can work on your timing if you have a proper timing you can use a lot of delay because there you have to place every note precise on time and then delay is great because it doubles up what you do. And I did it, I said this in another tutorial some time ago, but if you play shit, then it doubles up the shit. <laughs> if you play great, it gets double great. And that's a problem when you work with delays. And that's w probably a reason why uh, factory sounds often just have a short delay because uh, like intermediate plays or beginner plays, um, they are not able to really work with long delays. <coughs> but if you work with long delays and work on the timing, then that's really great and um, really makes sense. So let me see if there's some more questions around. Okay. John Squire's delay techniques from... No, sorry. 
Oh, reverse delay. Okay, let's check reverse delays. Um, okay. I like reverse delay. Um, wait, here I have one program that I don't want to look it for. Reverse delay. Okay, here's the delay. Oh, this sweep delay. Where's the reverse delay? Oh my god. Here. Okay. Uh, reverse delay always gives this ambient sound. I really like that. I mean, it's the same settings as normal delays. Let's let's try it on a distorted sound, a reverse delay. Let's go here. Try the, the the reverse delay. Yeah, that what that's that's what happens with distorted sound. It's gone. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, go up. Yeah. Uh, sometimes when the you make reverse delays, it just cuts it off. Like distorted, distorted tone is different than clean tone. Yeah, but I want to... I, uh, I use reverse delay often. Oops. I use reverse delay often on clean sounds or on acoustic sounds because it makes an ambient sound. Yeah. So what was the other question? Let me see that. Okay. Oh. I got an Epi LG Trench Pro 2 and went to Swepa. Oh, sorry. I'm not really a... I'm not a so big technical guy I don't know I just go to my guitar center and then say uh, yeah cool uh, just put in I once changed them and said just put in some cool thing and they did it yeah uh, interesting how the initial day arrives at full left and yeah that's when you do the ping pong when it goes left right uh, Schwarzenegger oh man <laughs> really <laughs> Is it because of the accent? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do some some workouts, uh, but only soft workouts. Some somebody once said I, I'm kind of like Roger Federer, the the more trained version of Roger Federer. Uh, by the way, I, I'm really uh, uh, Roger Federer just lost in Wimbledon. I'm not really happy about this. <laughs> yeah. Good. Um, let's go. I would just want to talk about something else on delays. Or is there any other question? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks. It's the accent. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Switzerland and Austria is pretty close. and uh, But uh, I didn't learn it in... S um, I grew up in Jamaica. I don't know. It's... Um, yeah. <laughs> Married, oh, um, that's a big story. Okay, that's gonna take a longer time. I once was about to marry a girl from Finland, and we went to the um, place where you get married. And uh, I didn't want it, and uh, we went in, and I was pretty sure we we're gonna do it. Then I was in there, and this guy was in front of us, and he said there was only the preparational talk for the marriage, and I could not speak one word. And then when we came out, um, I said to her, "Listen, uh, we cannot do this." Um, then she turned around and ran away. She was, as I said, from Finland, and she was in Zurich, and I never saw her again from that day on. She just turned around, ran away. And uh, I didn't hear anything from her after that for 10 years, I think. That was Marita Ruhoranta from uh, Lahti. And um, she contacted me recently on Facebook. 
maybe five years ago, she's still angry with me. <laughs> I can understand it, but it was the right decision. Sorry, Marita. Uh, you were pretty and really liked you, but um, yeah. Probably I'm not the, the guy for marriage. Yeah, and currently I have a lot of female attention. It's a little bit crazy, but that's another topic. <laughs> Other comments? Okay. Okay, the DD7, um, I think that has stereo in out. Uh, I, I have a DD6. That probably would be similar to the DD7. And. Well, uh, th as I said at the beginning of the of the broadcast, um, in this case, uh, if you have a any kind of stereo send return on your amp, it's great because then you can go stereo in out. Um, if you go from into delay and then into the amp, which I would not recommend because when you switch distortion, your your delay gets dis distorted too. Delay always has to be in send return setting. Um, but uh, not only very expensive amplifiers have stereo send return. So um, probably you don't need the DD7. The DD3 is just okay. Uh, you can give it to me. Because <laughs> 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 I sold my DD6 some time ago and some somehow regretted it because on, on s in some occasions I, s I remember s why I sold it. I'm so, st so stupid. I don't want to buy a new one. It's just like, I don't know. I'm not so much into pedals, not because the I don't like pedals, but uh, all these cables and all this stuff makes me crazy. Uh, that's why I have, I have this AXFX all in one box, which I really like. So let's see some other comments. Oh, cool, Chameleon Studio. Yeah, I mean, Epiphone per se, I don't know the English word for per se, is um is not bad as Dr. Pink is an epiphone too as I said this is from the elitist series and it's cool. <laughs> yeah and um there's nothing against epiphones. Yeah I think I'm more or less finished what I wanted to say today so if you just say me any questions which you have and um Write me your comments, probably also later, if you watch this live stream later. Um, write me your comments, how to improve it. But uh, what I want to say, uh, once again, uh, I messed it up with the shortcuts. Uh, I could switch with the shortcuts from one scene to the other. And so that's one of the, the reasons why I have, uh, it's, I have problems here to uh, switch between the scenes. And yeah, that's how it is. Sorry, guys. I'm going to fix this next time. But uh, for today, I'm happy to have an hour now. Streaming is more, nearly one hour. Yeah. So, any more questions? Okay, what delay pedals take a wall of sound effect? Um, well, yeah, yeah, Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> you made it to my broadcast. <laughs> This is my friend uh, here in Zurich, Antonio. <laughs> we had a we had a uh, coffee recently in Zurich. Yeah, cool guy. Uh, what the, the delay pedal? Uh, the wall of sound effect. Um, okay, let's go here. There are this. I mean. You can you can use any delay. The wall of sound effect. Let's take uh, I don't know. Ping pong. Ping pong delay. Why is not ping pong? Where's ping pong? Oh man, I don't find it. Where's ping pong? Okay, let's take a stereo. I don't um, it's basically created with a feedback. But um, 
if you have a delay, oh, there have to, I think if you have a delay where you can add two tempos, which would be a this is called multi delay. I need s oh man, I don't see this. I need my glasses. Sorry, guys, where are my glasses? I'm looking for multi delay now. <laughs> Uh, where's multi delay? Okay, with multi delay, you can sw you have you can have different types of delay. See, here I have four different types, and this creates this wall of sound effect. And any kind of dotted thing makes kind of a rhythm. And um, that's basically four delays in one, uh, which is pretty cool, but stuff <laughs> yeah that was probably what you were asking for it's mo it's called multi delay so that meaning or any kind of delay which has where you can put in two or m or more times of delay and then you you have the ones straight away like on the quarter on the a node and the other one dotted that comes a little bit later and this creates this effect more questions Oh, ping pong. What 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 is what is G N R? I don't know who it is. A ping pong delay is when it goes left right, like ping pong. Uh, this is uh, it's doing a little bit here now. Moving from left to right. Yeah, any more questions? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a song for you now. We, I didn't play at all till now. Uh, I'm gonna do a tutorial soon about this one, uh, symphonic rock. Mm, wait, hold on. I switch here that you can see what I'm playing. Um, where's symphonic rock? Oh, I need to go back here. Okay.
you think about this? Shall I do the tutorial? <laughs> Let me see. Do you like it? <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, I listen a lot to uh, Joe Satriani. Um, yeah. <laughs> Shall I do the tutorial about this? <laughs> Or another thing which is coming soon, um, or color improvisations. That's something very special. I do a lot in colors, and I just oh man, this. I don't know why it sometimes switches off. I need to find out this. I will find out, but I don't know when. Uh, color improvisations. I found that Jimi Hendrix had the exact same. Uh, view of music as I do I always thought okay this would be crazy what I do but uh, he never did this color thing so much in front but uh, I saw it in the movie which came out uh, like two years ago he had the same thing about colors and I really do a lot of colors like if I play blue stuff like this <laughs> probably gonna do some uh, it can be played in an easy way colors it's not something uh, but um, yeah probably gonna do that so any more questions otherwise I think I'm gonna finish up soon uh, yeah sorry Jackie um, uh, it's it's not only the device which I have, the device, the evil device. <laughs> it's the playing technique, so follow my tutorials. <laughs> uh, my favorite jazz guitarist is, of course, George Benson. I was a big fan of... I even liked the singing stuff and the strings, but um, George Benson was a very, very good jazz guitar player before he started singing. And, um, yeah... Oh, I'm sorry about your loss, Brutus. Yeah. My dad passed uh, on February 8th, so I was pretty near us. Yeah, it's a tremendous experience. Uh, <coughs> to be honest, uh, today is my first holiday. They are going to make a long summer break. I still do YouTube, but uh, I stop everything else, and I want to think about... Um, what shall I do in the near future, longer future, because uh, it opened up my eyes. I was with my dad when he passed away, more or less, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, breathing. Oh, fuck. Okay, I need my... I'm going to have it somewhere on a backing track with breathing. Just hold on. Um, I need to search it. Really breathing. Oh, man. Why breathing? <laughs> um, let me see. Where is it? Breathing. Oh, w that was the wrong one. He's breathing. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sean. <laughs> I think I've lost the connection, yeah, to the chats. The system is falling apart. Sorry, this was the first test. I'm happy it's still on. So let's close it for today. Um, I'm going to learn from this experience and I thought I'm going to do a, a regular uh, live stream once a month, like one or two hours. I'm going to work out that it's going to be more stable <coughs> and things work out better. And it's gonna be on again. I'm glad you were here with me. And it's cool that you are on my channel. Anyway, help to spread the word. I'm really waiting to make the 20K party when I reach 20,000 subscribers. And uh, I'm gonna probably make a little party, probably only me and Dr. Pink, but uh, it's gonna be cool. <laughs> yeah, so that was it more or less. And yeah, bye. Thanks for being with me. And sorry, the chat is off. So it's, I don't know why. I'm going to find out, but not just at the moment. Okay, bye.